my first day as a barrister. And I just don't know if I'm going to be any good at barristering. Perhaps I can help. Where did you come from? Were you hiding behind that pillar? No. Now, here's my advice. Take these and drink them. <laughs> but no buts, just drink. Actually, I, I feel rather good. Thanks. Um, I said, thanks. It's all right. <laughs> yes! I got that guy off that vicious sex murder, even though he obviously did it. <sighs> Have you been there the whole time? Um, yes. Why? Because I'm one of a group of very important people who've been watching you for quite a while. We have great plans for you, which is why earlier I let you in on one of the world's greatest secrets. What secrets? That everything mankind does is much, much easier if you're ever so slightly drunk. <laughs> that sensation you get between half and three quarters of the way down your second drink of the day, when you've just taken the edge off and feel that anything is possible. <laughs> How did you feel after that wine I gave you? Like anything was possible. Exactly. Come with me. Welcome to our secret headquarters under the head offices of Oddbent. Oh, what is the point of the blindfold if you just tell everyone where we are? Sorry, forgot. But then again, I am slightly drunk, as I hope you soon will be. Who are you people? We are a group bound by the creed that humanity is better and more noble after very nearly two drinks than at any other time. We've been around for centuries. No one knows quite how long. But then it's hard to be precise when you're constantly slightly pissed. <laughs> Suffice to say that at all major historical events, we've been in the background, gently swaying from side to side. <laughs> My god. You're the inebriati. I thought you were just a myth. Actually, we prefer the term Knight Stippler. But aren't you supposed to be evil? Oh, you've been reading too much fiction, young man. <laughs> We are a force for good, sworn to maintain a level of just enough smashness to make everything feel lovely. But how? Our methods are subtle. I myself have a claret drip. I have a can of special brew pumping slowly and constantly into my stomach. And you may have noticed me snacking regularly on liqueur chocolates. Ooh, jambuie. <laughs> And Malcolm over there is about to administer himself with one of his hourly Quantro enemas. Bottoms up! <laughs> Are you sure you aren't evil? We may have made one or two mistakes. It's basically our fault that if you press delete in Microsoft Word, it puts the entire document into eight point times New Roman, whether you want it to or not. But overall, we come out very much in credit. What do you want with me? Today's youth is all binge-drinking maniacs and tight-ass teetotalers. And that will inevitably lead to a whole new generation of Stalins and Hitlers. Hmm. Will it, though? Yes! <laughs> Which is why we need fresh, young, lovely, slightly drunk people like you. After all, no gently drink-wobbly person could ever commit genocide. They'd be too busy buying crisps or trying to remember the Oscar-winning films of the 70s or just having a small nap. With our backing, you'll be president of the world in 10 years. The only condition is that you must never, ever have any more than slightly less than two drinks. Never? Never. Beyond that state of mildly intoxicated perfection lies drunken madness, third pints, kebabs, and destruction. So, what do you say? <laughs> Violent crime.
crime has dropped to zero since you added the equivalent of a glass and a half of rosé per person to the water supply. Who could possibly want to fight after a lovely bit of rosé? Indeed. And the way you averted that Third World War. All I had to do was get a couple of creme de monts down Ahmadinejad and Bin Laden and they loosened right up. Your boozy bonhomie has served the world well, like a more effective Ken Clark. We thank you. Well, no. Thank you. Cheers. No! You, you finished your second drink! Surely it can't do any harm. <laughs> Whoops. You know, a man with access to nuclear weapons really should never get a bit fighty. You tit. Might as well get shit-faced now. Yeah. Double comedy still to